Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium, where today it's the game that will determine the Big Three Championship. If Brockton wins, they get the automatic bid in the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. If Durfee wins, well, then it all comes down to Thursday when Brockton travels to New Bedford. Once again, I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson, calling all the action high atop the turf here at Brockton High School. Interesting matchup of goaltenders. It's for Brockton, the senior Dalton Rocha, who has had a very spectacular season in net for the boxers. On the other end of the turf, it is the freshman, Zach Massa. Durfee wearing their away red jerseys, red shorts, black and white trim all around. Brockton. They're home whites with red and black trim. This one sent over the head of Rocha off the football goal post, so it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Brockton coming in at 13-0-2. The boxers undefeated looking to Continue that trend going into the postseason. Already wrapping up a postseason berth in the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Those games kick off November 1st. Keep an eye on our Twitter page at Brockton Channel for the brackets. As soon as we know, you'll know. And now it's Luis Spinola with a cross that's broken up, but... Romalo had it. And this one's going to be sent wide and a goal kick for the Hilltoppers. Interesting strategy for the boxers. Usually they shoot to our left to start the game. This game changing it up. There is a heavy, heavy wind in an otherwise beautiful night for soccer. Brockton with an opportunity, a shot, and it's going to sail through the football goal post and out of play. It is 71 degrees outside. A balmy 71. High gusts of wind to the south of about 17 miles an hour. Pretty humid. 80% humidity and a 64 degree dew point. It's supposed to be similar to these conditions all week. Paulo Romalo sending it up trying to find or even Rodriguez. Rodriguez finding Leonardo Texera. Texera with two goals last game. He leaves it off for Luis Spinola. Spinola with the cross, and it's broken up by number 27, Alex Cabral, the junior defenseman. Still loose, and Durfee finally able to clear out. This one's going to go off of Mascarenas and out of play. On the replay, you see Spinola with the cross, almost finding Riven Rodriguez in the box. Good ball. Now, this one sent just a little bit behind Jonathan Rodriguez. Durfee back the other way. Now Brockton with an opportunity streaking up the sideline is Rodriguez, Jonathan Rodriguez with some space and it's Texera pounding home the goal. It's gonna be Leonardo Texera from Jonathan Gomes with about 35 minutes to go in the first half. And once again, Brockton with an early goal. 
It's going to be Leonardo Texera unassisted as it went off of Alex Cabral on the cross. Texera, three goals in two games. Five and three. For the junior forward. Again, Brockton continuing the trend of scoring a goal in the first 10 minutes of the game. So Rodriguez again, this time he can't control his balance. Rivon Rodriguez trying to get it up to Leonardo Texera. Durfee throwing on the far side. Even back to Paulo Romalo. Romalo sending it up to Leonardo Texera. The self pass doesn't get around the defender. Now it's Texera over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez up for Spinola. Spinola on the cross, and it's going to be broken up. But the one timer by Texera is wide to the right. Brockton's offense. Seemingly clicking early in this game. Almost two weeks of non-stop action for the boxers. Games just about every other day. The last game was this past Saturday against Severian. The two days off in between the longest the boxers have had in about two and a half weeks. Finish out the season on Saturday against Norwell. Clippers always one of the be better teams in the state. It'll be senior day here at Brockton High. Gabriel de Oliveira taking the free kick for the Hilltoppers. And Brockton's defense able to clear out at least momentarily. This shot blocked away by Luis Spinola. And Brockton able to clear it out to their own 45 yard line. Dangerous play against Brockton. Free kick from 45 yards out from net. Durfee going short. And now the long ball into the box is broken up by Brockton. Jonathan Rodriguez makes a nice move to get around his defender. And now it's knocked out of play by the Hilltoppers. Boxer throw in. Junior Gomes, newly named captain of the boxers, Derek DePima, uh, Derek DePina rather. Durfee's gonna get a warning here. It's a dangerous play by Alex Cabral. Free kick for the boxers, very dangerous position here. Only about 20, 25 yards out from net. 
on the angle. Durfee's two-man wall only about five yards off of the ball. See if they back them up. Junior Gomes and Odair Montero lining up. Gomes takes the kick. And Riven Rodriguez can't get a direct shot off. And Durfee's able to clear. Mascarenas. As Odair Montero is being held and tugged and pulled in every different direction. We have an injured boxer right in front of the Durfee net. I think that's Leonardo Texera who's favoring his left leg. Texera is in some pain on the Durfee side of the field. It's limping, favoring his right leg. You can see it even as he's running towards the ball, it's not full speed. This is Texera with it. And uh, Durfee takes over possession, sends it back to the Brockton side of the field. About 28 minutes to go now in the first half. one nothing boxers over the Hilltoppers. Big week for the boxers as they finish out their regular season. No easy slate of games either. Durfee, New Bedford, and Norwell to finish out the season. Every other day, there are games for the boxers. Lady boxers, meanwhile, finish out their season here on Saturday morning against Cardinal Spellman. Boxer pulled down, I believe it's Mascarenas on the far side. And that earns the boxers a free kick. Mascarenas really just tugged down on the far side. Got Louis Spinola that was tripped up. Spinola on the hard cross and it's knocked out. Sent all the way back. It's headed by Mascarenas back to Dalton Rocha. Revolving door at goal continues for Brockton, who have added a goaltender to their roster. It is the junior, Seth Anderson. In the last four games, we've seen three different goalkeepers rotating in and out.
Yeah, it's Leonardo Texera with some room. He loses it, but regains position, gets around his men, and Leonardo Texera with the back heel pass to Spinola, and Spinola attempting to do the same thing, loses possession. But gains it back, Spinola chipping it ahead, and Texera is going to be able to keep this one in. On sides, and the attempted bicycle kick by Jonathan Rodriguez is unsuccessful. Brockton threatening yet again. This is Jalen DeRosa. Now Riven Rodriguez on the cross, Rodriguez! And it goes just high off of Leonardo Texera. Take a look at the good back heel pass by Leonardo Texera few moments ago. Just the overstep right there by Spinola that created that opportunity. This is Paolo Romalo. Very tough win that Brockton will be going with in the second half. The second half expected to pick up rain and wind. And this one sent in and a little bit of trouble for the freshman goalkeeper, Zach Massa, but he's able to control it. A free kick for the Hilltoppers. Yeah, I don't think that one was warranted. It's Jonathan Rodriguez on the far side. Just looked like he got tripped up. Busy week for BCA Sports. As we mentioned, Saturday with the doubleheader and Friday night, BCA Traveling Roadshow heads to Needham as the boxers face the Rockets in the MIAA South Sectional first round football action. One out of bounds. They're going to say off of Brockton. Kyle Neves. Kyle Neves, the junior midfielder, into the game for the Hilltoppers. He will take this throw. throw, Brockton's able to knock it out. One time shot blocked away and now it's Texera tripped up, no whistle as Brockton regained clean possession. Now there's a whistle and a stoppage. And a Durfee free kick? Oh, it'll be a boxer free kick all the way back on their own side of the field. Late whistle. It was the right call, absolutely. Just they blew the, the whistle about 30 seconds late. about halfway through the first half. One nothing boxers on top of their big three divisional rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers. 
DeRosa with a deep throw into the box. And it's momentarily cleared and now Brockton's going to have a free kick. So right here Montero that was steamrolled from behind. And it will be Montero taking the kick. Excuse me, Gomes and Montero lined up to take the kick. Low kick hits Durfee's wall. Even Rodriguez with a cross and it's gonna go off the football crossbar. And it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Romalo thought he had committed a handball. Now it's loose and Durfee puts it wide, calling for the goal kick. I don't think they're going to win that call. It'll be a goal kick for Brockton, and Durfee's coaches are fired up. Tiberio Mello screaming at the official that it should be a corner kick. High kick called against Brockton. It's Durfee free kick from about 20, 25 yards out. William Sobrero taking this one for the Hilltoppers. And Brockton's wall is gonna have to back up about another five yards. Free kick for Sobrero, the senior forward. Five man Brockton wall. Right on net and Rocha punches it out. And it's gonna be a corner kick for the Hilltoppers. Rocha did everything right on that one. Read it perfectly and laid out. Excellent stop there for Dalton Rocha. Junior Gomes sending it up intended for Rodriguez. Now Andrade can't get to it. Right here, Montero scrapping for it on the far side, cleared out of play. Well, they're up back towards midfield by number four, Neelan Nera. If that name sounds familiar, well, it should. He was a thorn in the side of the boxers men's basketball team in the first round of the MIAA playoffs. Down in Durfee last year, the multi-sport athlete. Also on the football team of Durfee High School. Montero with a little chip shot.
This one headed in and knocked out by the Durfee defense. Texera still fighting for it as it's sent out of play at around the 35 yard line. Spinola with good control. This one sent out of bounds off of Durfee. They're going to rule. Durfee's not happy with the call. Number 22 putting in a play for the boxers. That is the captain, Derek DePina, newly named Captain DePina. Now Spinola with it as it's sent out of bounds again. And Durfee's going to earn this call. 14 minutes left in the first half. Brockton still leading 1 0. Now sending it back towards Dalton Rocha. Rocha makes the easy stop. That's Gomes with a long cross for Broughton. Andrade pushed out from behind, no call. This one out of play off of Durfee. Wind picking up here at Marciano Stadium. Durfee with some sustained possession here, but the Hilltoppers unable to get any really quality offensive chances. minutes left here in the first half and Brockton leading one nothing the goal Leonardo Texera unassisted short five minutes into this game Durfee has been unable to answer to this point Dalton Roach the boxers starting goalkeeper tonight Wasting some time off the clock.
Got a playoff of Durfee. Boxers thrown with just under 10 minutes to go. Topper setting it up, knocked right back by the Brockton defense. Boxer defense has been very strong this season. Claudio Mascarena, Steric Depina leading that effort, along with Paolo Romalo. Scrapping for it with Goncalo Royce. Brockton certainly continuing the trend, scoring early and then a little lull in the action. Brockton's had their fair share of chances. Yeah, it's a little Spinola in the near sideline. He's tripped up, no call. Durfee sends it back across midfield. Jonathan Rodriguez with it now, trying to create some space. He's running to again, no whistle, but out of play off of Durfee. With seven minutes to go in the first half. This one sent in and headed off the football crossbar and hanging on top of the apron. About 5.45 left in the first half. Brock is hanging on to that one nothing lead. Low in the action since the Boxers scored five minutes into this game. Ruan Ferreira into the game, the senior forward for Durfee.
Corner kick for the boxers now. Odair Montero gonna take it, no surprise there. It's gonna be Luis Spinola taking the kick. Montero's in the area as well, so maybe the boxers go short and Montero puts a quick shot on net. Spinola's direct shot cleared out by Durfee. Texera chips is loose. And Gomes can't get his foot on it. Derek DePino with long throw. Pina's cross is sent back out by the Hilltoppers. Three and a half minutes to go. Texera chipping it, looking for Andrade, doesn't connect. Texera still with it. Leonardo Texera with a chip shot. The two Hilltoppers collide a shot in this one. They're going to say that it stayed out. We're going to take a look at this replay. That's Leonardo Texera with a little chip shot. And now Jonathan Rodriguez. That stayed on the goal line. A very impressive save for the freshman goalkeeper. As Andrade was in, unable to get his foot on it, Alex Cabral was able to clear it out. So the tag team effort of Zach Massa, and this one's a goal for the boxers. And it's Cabral who just made that spectacular play moments ago, failing on this one. Spinola launched the official, uh, the, the initial shot. And not sure if Texera got any contact with that or not. So it's two nothing boxers. So it's Texera with his second goal of the game. The second consecutive game that he's had two goals. Scoring two of the three boxer markers against Severian. Less than two minutes to go in the first half. Everyone knows the rules. Clock stops. Official time kept on the field by the referees. Free kick for the Hilltoppers. William Sobrero going to take it. Sobrero low, trying to break it through the boxer wall. Unsuccessful in that effort. Brockton clearing out into the Durfee bench. So two nothing boxers, both goals scored unassisted. And here's trouble for the boxers. Oh, what a defensive play for Derek DePina. Durfee had Brockton dead to rights as we take a look at 
The save of the game from Derek DePina. Dalton Rocha a little bit too aggressive. The action picking up here in the final moments of the first half. Romalo lets this one go out of bounds. Durfee throwing. Durfee trying to cut the deficit in half going into halftime. And they'll have a corner kick here. Not much time left. Maybe about 25 seconds. Taken by Goncalo Royce. Or rather it's going to be William Sobrero. This one ping-ponging around, knocked out by Brockton. Now Jonathan Rodriguez chipping it, looking for Leonardo Texera. Texera back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez some room to run, and it's broken up by the Hilltoppers. Durfee with a throw-in. And Sobrero's going to have to back up about five yards. And now he's going to leave behind. Durfee wasting a lot of time off the clock to put this one back in play. Ethan Williams sending it inbounds. Now it's Lucas Souza. Whistles blow, the first half has come to an end. The score at halftime, two nothing. Brockton on top of the Durfee Hilltoppers. Both goals scored by Leonardo Texera. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Rocky Marciano Stadium for second half action between the Durfee Hilltoppers and your Brockton Boxers. That's right, it's a big three divisional matchup here. Brockton up two to nothing to start this second half. Both goals unassisted, Leonardo Texera doing Yeoman's work out in front of the freshman Durfee goalkeeper. It's put two goals for the Boxers. His second consecutive game with two goals. Chipping home the first two against the Severian Hawks. Durfee not much offensive pressure on senior goalkeeper Dalton Rocha. Sodair Montero fighting for it. And instead, Ethan Williams chipping it further up. Durfee wearing their away red jerseys and shorts with black and white trim. Brockton, their home whites, red and black trim. Only two games left in the boxer season after this one comes to an end. They travel down to New Bedford in a heavyweight bout. New Bedford, one of the best teams in the state. When we played them the first time, New Bedford was 11-1-1. Brockton got the win in that one, 3 nothing. And Brockton has since continued to be undefeated. 13-0-2 the record coming into this game. Now Rodriguez taken down from behind. A very windy affair here at Marciano Stadium. Seventy-one degrees at kickoff. It has since dropped slightly to about sixty-eight. Gusts of wind of about eighteen miles an hour. Humidity has gone up just a tad, up to eighty-three percent. It was around eighty at kickoff today. Dew point also up. It was sixty-three at kickoff. Sixty-five now. Oh, 
Otherwise, a good night here for soccer at Marciano Stadium. Whistle stoppage, free kick for Brockton. So it was Derek DePina that was taken down, the newly named senior captain of this team. Brockton with an opportunity. The interesting week continues here at Marciano Stadium. Haven't had a normal game. We called an audible five minutes into the second half. We have a new official scorer. The Nevs family coming together to bring you this game to fruition. We haven't had a very normal game here at Marciano in probably about three weeks. So it all started on Columbus Day. We had that wild back and forth affair. The boys team against Mansfield. Game that was decided by two penalty kicks. One for each team. And then there was that just wild one up and down roller coaster against the Dartmouth Indians very chippy game we've since seen New Bedford now Durfee and Severian Again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high atop the turf here. The second to last home game of the Brockton Boxers season. Already clinched a playoff spot by virtue of winning 50% of their games. And now a spin move for is that Gomes in the middle. Now Gomes has it. Brockton looking to wrap up the big three divisional title, the automatic berth into the MIAA playoffs. There's the spin move by Gomes. and Lopes. And Eric Brito coming into the game for Brockton. Brockton. 
Last game of the regular season here on Saturday against the Norwell Clippers. Senior day here at Marciano Stadium, 16 seniors on this Brockton Boxers roster are gonna be celebrated that day. Oh, I didn't know what I was gonna find up here with Felix. Now Rodriguez side. cross for Lopes like doesn't connect. That's Leonardo Texera looking for the hat trick, trying to chase it down. Unable to do so, goal kick for Durfee. Jonathan Rodriguez. Is it knocked away by the defense of the Durfee Hilltoppers? About 10 minutes into the second half, Brockton up 2 0. Those goals scored by Leonardo Texera. Having a heck of a year. That's Gomes that goes down fairly easily. that our snack shack is open down by the south end zone by the flagpole. If anybody wants to have pizza, hot chocolate, soda, it's all available down here. Dirk DePino on the free kick. Now a chip shot, that could be trouble. Yes. And it's no. Texera, it's gonna be offsides. see just exactly how offsides this was. Uh, yeah, that could be offsides. So, first thing again, A lot of wind picking up here in the second half of this one. It's supposed to be raining right now. Knock on wood. Supposed to be. Had a 60% chance of precipitation before this game kicked off.
Brockton trying to put home a few insurance goals here. Wrap up the big three division. has tonight continued the trend we've seen the last few weeks scoring early within the first 10 minutes of the game and then a lull and then action ramping up in the second half sent just too far ahead of Gomes. That's Claudio Mascarenas all the way up for Texera. He's not going to be able to chase it down before it goes out of play. Brockton's entire bench is warming up and stretching as if they're going to come into the game. The shot is saved by the freshman, Zach Massa. And Dalton Rocha. Brockton shooting with the wind in the second half as Rodriguez is tripped up. Yeah. Durfee's going to call their timeout. So Durfee taking their timeout with about 23 minutes to go. Brockton up 2-0 over the Hilltoppers. Leonardo Texera with both markers for the boxers. There's Dalton Rocha who's been phenomenal in net for Brockton this game so far putting up the clean sheet take this time out to remind you Brockton Community Access is on Twitter we're at Brockton Channel if you want to talk to us hashtag BCA Sports
Roach out to Mascarenas. A little give and go, short passing game for the boxers. Long thrown from DePina into the box, but now Edson Lowe's trying to punch in a one-timer. Doesn't get a clean shot off. Halfway through the second half. Just about. Brockton still up 2-0 over the Durfee Hilltoppers. Big three divisional rivals. The big three has really come alive in soccer in recent years. Especially New Bedford and Brockton. Some heavyweight 15 round tilts. Boxers trying to wrap up their season with the goose egg in the loss column. Coming into this one at 13-0-2, their two remaining games at New Bedford and home against Norwell. Both excellent teams. So Romalo lets this one roll to Dalton Rocha. This one's going to find its way out of bounds off of Brockton. with an opportunity here broken up by Claudio Mascarenas. Whistles. Brockton's throne was about 10 yards too far north. And the defense comes up big yet again. Not cleared out as of yet.
got sent ahead. It's a foot race and it's going to be a little bit too far ahead of Foxer's threatening offense picked up by Zach Massa and sent back out. Jalen Drosen and Cladier Mendez into the game for Brockton. Replacing senior captain Derek DePina and senior captain Junior Gomes. Cleared out by Durfee deep in their own territory. So, Rocky with a good opportunity here. Mascarenas just a step too far ahead for Eric Brito. It's so under 15 minutes to go in the second half. Two nothing Brockton on top of big three division rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers. That's all right here, Montero. And Leandro Barros into the game for Brockton as well. Throwing for Brockton. So it's Leandro Barros and Odair Montero. to the game for the boxers. Head coach Herminio Frittato. Has stated that he'd much rather take a loss in the regular season than in the playoffs, of course. Doesn't mean he wants to lose. Asked him, well, what happens if you finish undefeated? He said, well, what if we don't? Said as long as they win the division, have a good enough record to be in the top half of the bracket, they're in good shape. Of course, last year we saw them almost go all the way until Lincoln Sudbury came to town in the state semifinal. We have an injured Hilltopper down at the 44 yard line. Slow to get up. Cannot put any weight on his right leg. That is number 11 of Durfee. Ethan Williams, a sophomore midfielder who is in a lot of pain. He's gonna go back down to the ground and we're gonna stop the clock here for an injury. 
is Ethan Williams down right at the 50 yard line for the Durfee Hilltoppers. That was a discussion with the officials. There's number 10, Goncalo Royce. So a lot of confusion on the field. Substitutions are going to come in. It's a free kick for Brockton at the 40 yard line. Now it's Texero looking for the hat trick. A little bit of a bad bounce and he's not gonna be able to control it. Goal kick for the Hilltoppers. Well, 21 into the game for Brockton, that is Bradley Bejean. It's Brockton with the uh, two goal lead, trying to put home some insurance runs here. About 10 minutes left now. Unofficial time, official time kept on the field by the referees as Durfee gets close and Dalton Rocha picks this one up. Now it's Texera trying to chase it. It's going to be sent back towards midfield by the Hilltoppers. Now Procton's onsides down to the corner is Jonathan Rodriguez. And they're going to rule it went out of play over the end line. Goal kick for Durfee. And we have a timeout on the field. The Durfee timeout with about 8.56 remaining in the second half. So it's just under nine minutes to go.
Two goal lead for Brockton, looking to add some insurance goals here over the big three divisional rival, big uh, Durfee Hilltopper, excuse me. Brockton already wrapping up wins against New Bedford here at home and Durfee on the road. Looking to wrap up the big three division here tonight. <laughs> Always the first step to the boxers MIAA South Sectional Tournament run. Durfee pressuring in the later stages of this one. Trying to break the ice. Still in play for Durfee, because it's number 18. William Sobrero has been one of the few high notes for the Durfee team tonight. This one trickles out of bounds. Want to take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. All-star crew. All star. I mean, you're gonna take. You're gonna take the greatest team of all time. You can have any player from any team, any year. They've come together tonight for this production. At the helm, little tag team action. Paul Mandeville, and Mike the Postman Simmons, holding down the truck. Up top, the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow. Of course, I am the mad dog, Matt Nelson. This one sent ahead for Leonardo Texera, looking for the hat trick. And I think they're going to call off sides. Nah, it's not off sides. Offsides is the call, but that's not offsides. Brockton throwing now, 6.15-ish left in the second half. It's Brockton at New Bedford on Thursday and then back here at Marciano Stadium on Saturday. So they wrap up their regular season against the Norwell Clippers. Double header action here at Brockton High on Saturday as the Lady Boxers take on the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals in a little cross-Brockton rivalry action. And then it is on to the postseason. Seating's coming out October 30th. Keep an eye on our Twitter feed for the brackets. At Brockton Channel, this one's knocked up and out of play, and it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Mario Mendoza into the game.
chopsticks here, chasing it down. It's gonna be a Brockton ball. Long throw headed out by Durfee. Still in some danger, now it's cleared out. Mascarenas with a pop up. That is taken with no issue by Zach Massa. Under three and a half to go. We have another injured Hilltopper. 3.15 to go. And the clock stops. A non contact knee injury there. Clock stop. 3.15 left in. Second half, the player is calling for the cart. Hilltopper gets up and walks off with no real impediment. Goncalo Royce is the downed Hilltopper who now has to come off the field. Three fifteen left to go in the second half. Jalen DeRosa fighting for it. It's gonna be a Durfee free kick, dangerous position, about 25, 26 yards out from net. Gonna be taken by Sobrero. The wind picking up here, blowing back at Sobrero to his face. Little chip shot. Durfee with it, broken up by Mascarenas, but still loose in the box, and Brockton able to clear out. In the final two minutes of the second half, official time kept on the field. This Texera close to the net earns Brockton a corner kick. Good diving stop by Massa. Odeir Montero with the kick, and it's going to find its way out the other side. Not much time left here in the second half. Maybe about 30 seconds left. Texera with the one-time shot is going to go wide. Certainly don't want to say that Leonardo Texera has had 
a snake bite scoring, but after his first two goals of the game, he's been fairly quiet the remainder of the game, and here he goes again. It's Leonardo Texera. Chip pass out to Riven Rodriguez. Rodriguez's shot finds the back of the net. And that's a boxer goal. It's going to be Riven Rodriguez from Leonardo Texera. The work done right there by Leonardo Texera. So it's Riven Rodriguez from Leonardo Texera. Texera, three point day, two goals and an assist. And so it's 3 nothing Brockton. Are thrown with not much time here. Brockton perfectly content to waste out the remainder of the clock here. Jonathan Rodriguez up the sideline, and Durfee's going to take over. Whistles blow, and this one has come to an end. The final score, 3-0. Brockton winning the big three division outright and clinching the automatic berth into the playoffs. Brockton moving to 14-0-2, undefeated on the year. They look to continue that as they travel down to New Bedford, on Thursday, wrapping up the season here against Norwell on Saturday for a senior day. Game ball going to Leonardo Texera. Two goals and an assist, having a foot in all three of the boxer goals. And that will just about wrap it up here from Marciano Stadium again. Brockton Boxers, three. Durfee Hilltoppers, nothing. Brockton moving to 14 0 and 2. For everyone here at BCA Sports, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.